ladies and gentlemen. A lot of great information in the book. Read it. You'll learn a lot. This car takes OW-16 oil. Your release button's over here, so when you want to check your oil, drop your stick, put it into the appropriate hole. They got all these holes here, let me tell you. We're not going to be changing oil, but we're going to be talking about some of the uh, things here. On your dipstick, you simply pull it out, and you can see where the oil is at, about uh, 15 to 2,000 miles. And you're going to bring in your car to your Toyota deal for the first four or 5,000 miles, right? And they're going to inspect the oil. They may change your oil, and they may change your filter. They may do one and or the other. And you want to make note when you do things, when you bring them in. If you're a do-it-yourself person, you're going to need a ratchet, a socket, jack stands, a floor jack, 10 millimeter bolt, some uh, Phillips screws, and uh, a filter, and OW-16, if not OW-20 oil. They've gone to a different type of filter. They've gone back to the metal canister filter for this particular car. I'm just showing you a Honda's filter. This is the only thing I got at the moment. So I'm going to go online, place my order for the correct one for this car. You can get Toyotas. It should be 909-15-YZZM as in Mary 1. Pause the video at any given time so you can write that down and get that filter. They no longer make the paper filter. And you can go and get yourself the L14476. I think I used this for my 1991. <laughs> Pay attention. It's Corolla. And it should fit this car. But don't hold me to it. I may make a mistake. And I'm entitled to making a mistake. And correcting myself on it. But if I'm perfect and there is a mistake, I do apologize. So now that we've got the oil filters out of the picture, you're going to want to get yourself an official Honda or Toyota wrench. It's a PLL, PLM, I, I, I just can't read it no more. Probably that number has changed. And just go to Handa Accessories and purchase one. And you'll be so happy then to use one of these garbage ones that they just simply bend. But also remember, if you get a counterfeit filter, some Joe Schmo's filter that puts a Honda stamp on it, and this is a little tight, this will lip. And that will happen. Trust me. They are out there. And that's why they're so damn cheap. They're OAM with their stamps. Be careful. Now, remember, I said oils. I don't have the official Toyota OW16 oil to show you. But here I have is OW20 from Honda. If this was a Honda, I would be using that for the particular car. Now, if I cannot get the oil, then I use this particular brand. I use a number of brands. Castor oil is what I use. They do not make in my area to pick up and purchase OW16. So, on this vehicle, you can use OW20, but on the next oil change, you are to change it back to OW16. Nowhere are you subject to use OW16, a thinner oil than OW20. They want you to use that particular oil for this particular engine. 
So on that note, there you go. You've got your oil. You know where to inspect it. Underneath the car, like I said, you need to lift it up, take a pan off, and you're not going to get under that car with 245R 18-inch rims. And let me tell you, that's a different story for another video. I love the 60 rims, the height. 40s? I don't think so. Maybe 55s. The 40s, I hope your fillings are all in there and intact. Because when you hit that bump, like I said, it's for another video to come. So on that note, I want to thank you all been with me since day one of my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. And I hope it's to your liking. So please, if you're a newbie, hit that subscribe button. Show a like. Make a comment. And then just skip and slide away. Have a great day and see you on the next video.